So Stephen is telling them that magnificent temple wasn't God's idea. It was a human idea. But King David didn't care. He wanted a temple for his God, just like all the other kings had temples for their gods. And then as Stephen's speech builds to a crescendo, man, he lets them have it with both barrels. He says, you stiff-necked people with uncircumcised hearts and ears, you oppose the Holy Spirit. You do the same things your wicked fathers did. But as bold and offensive as all that was, Stephen then goes all in. He says, you know, your fathers killed those who told in advance about the coming of the righteous one, the Sadiq, meaning the Messiah. <laughs> Guess what? You were the ones who actually murdered that prophesied righteous one when he arrived. Oh, man. Yet, he says, you claim to be the ones who received the Torah, but you don't keep it. Stephen's life was over. He had bashed the synagogue and the temple authorities, and they weren't about to take this humiliation lying down. Most of what Stephen said doesn't really need much explanation. However, notice he says that you claim to be the ones who received the Torah. Well, now obviously, it was Moses who received the Torah 1,300 years earlier. Not these people he was talking to. No, as we've discussed, Stephen was using standard synagogue synagogue language and thought processes of the day when he uses the word Torah. The religious leaders, rabbis, of the synagogues were said to be receiving the Torah. But what they and Stephen were referring to was oral Torah, traditions of the elders which they saw as divine and on par with the original Torah of Moses given at Mount Sinai. Stephen's words demonstrate the lack of distinction in the minds of the Jews in that day between man-made doctrines and the God-made Torah of Moses, which is Genesis through Deuteronomy. We have precisely that same condition today among so many believers in Christianity and much of, the mess much of Messianic Judaism. You know, it can be really difficult to untangle long-held and cherished doctrines and customs and traditions from the actual Word of God. It's very hard. And attempting to do so and speaking out about it often brings great danger and a, 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 anger, dissension. You know, that's why there weren't very many prophets of God that we hear about in the Bible. It's also why their lives were rarely pleasant Humans of all ages and eras want to hear what we want to believe. We want to believe what makes us comfortable. That's what we want to believe. Only sometimes are God's believers on an actual search for the truth. Most of the time, we search to find a leader or a congregation that will validate what we've predetermined we want to believe. 